Hello, welcome back to Exclusive Modest. Hope you have wonder with it. Today's episode is going to be the how to cut this dress. It's a cut together with the sleeve, as you can see, and it has a bias. It's that bias I'm going to use to make a design around the sleeve area and at the front of the dress. So this is the bias I'll be making use of. You can make it of any fabric of your choice. You can make it of a fabric that you can undo. A white fabric that is using the same color. You can make it of a white fabric that you can handle. But here I'll be making use of a bias. You can also call it weaving. I'm using three and a half of this crepe fabric to cut it out. And you know, I, like I said earlier, I said it's a cut together with the stiff. Then I'll be folding it into four equally. This is into two, you can see. This is into two, then I'll fold it into four. So now this is now into four, you can see. This is into four. The next thing I need here is to take the shoulder front of one inch. This is not compulsory. If you like, you can put it. If you like, you can cut it that way. But to make it more perfect, the way you can see it on the picture, that's I'm putting this now. Then from here, I'm going to cut it out first. After cutting out the shoulder slant, the next thing you have to determine is the ammo. You know, it's cut together the, with the sleeve. The actual ammo, the normal ammo for this measurement is 9 inches. The normal ammo is 9 inches, but since it's cut together with the sleeve, I'm making it um, 10 inches. So from here now, I'm taking a bust measurement of 44 inches. Then you know it's not something fitted. I'll be adding three inches to it. It's not a fitted. I'll be adding three inches to it. So this is where I'm going to stop if I'm coming from the sleeve here. So at the sleeve area now, I'll be taking 8.5 inches at the sleeve area here. Then from this 8.5 inches, I'm going to slant it to, to this thing. You can see you can see now you can see this area this area is wider than this because of the ammo here will be wider than the waist side so from here now from this side i'm going to make a slant line it doesn't have waist measurement i'm going to make a slant line to the down part of the dress like this you got the widest of three yards at damp part. So this is how the shape is going to be now. You can see it now. So the nice thing here is to take the length, the length of the dress. I'm starting the length of the dress from the center here. From the center here. So I'm using the whole length of the of the fabric for the length. This is 8.5 inches. Yes, yeah, that's what I'm using. But when I get to this side here, I'll be coming up with because I don't want this edge to be touching the ground. I'll just come up with two inches. Then I'm going to slant it down. Just to have a nice shape at the damp part here. That's why we are doing that. You can as well leave it that way, depending on how you want it. But when you do it this way, you're going to have a nice shape at the damp part. Next thing that I made here is just to cut it out.
So, after puffing it out, then I'm going to take the length of my sleeve from the center here. The length of my sleeve from the center here. Yes, I'm up in 13 inches for the length of my sleeve. This is 30 inches. Then the main length is 32 inches. Then I'll be adding 3 inches of the band to it. Then I'll be deducting half inch where the half inch is going for the seam allowance. So I'll be deducting half inch instead of the one inch. I'll be deducting the half inch so that the half inch will go for the seam allowance. Then I'll be adding three inches to it now to make it a full sleeve. So the next thing I'll need here is the neckline. The wideness of the neck here, I'll be making use of three inches for the wideness of the neck. Then the deepness of making use of 2.5 inches. Then I'll be connecting my lines together. So then I cannot open it to dip the front neck. Okay, see? So I'll be dripping the front neck with one inch. You can see? Then the next thing here is to make a slit at the back because I'm going to make a loop then put my put my button at the back. So I will make it of four inches. I'll be dipping it down to four inches. I'll be deducting my band from this fabric, from this um, pieces. This is where I will get my band. So when I say three inches, that means I need 3.5 inches. You know, by the time you fold it, I, that means I need seven inches. So by the time you fold it into two, it's going to be about 3.5 inches. The half inch is going for the same allowance. And the two inches is going for the band. So now this is now the seven inches. We fold it into two. This is what it's going to give us. I'm using this for the both sleeve. So let me go and do the joining and show you the finishing.
welcome back here's the finished work so far this is the dress you can also call it a buyer dress you can see you can see the way i did the bias at the at the sleeve side and the bias at the center here is just to place your bias here then you tape it down you can see the other sleeve also you can see how this turns out beautiful please if you are watching my tutorial for the first time at the end of this class make sure to subscribe to it and for those people that have already subscribed i really appreciate you guys for watching my video always see you in my next class bye